Hey guys, and welcome to our first rating video, and today we'll be rating Super Brains. Now he's, he doesn't have any variants, and I thought that it would be a really good starting point for me, since this is my first video. And before we get in, into this video, I just wanted to uh, remind you that, of course, some characters that may be your favorite, I will rank poorly in these videos. I hope not to offend you. I would just like to let you know that this is my personal opinion, and many viewers will have their own opinions, which is totally fine. And with that said, let's begin. So at number six, starting us off, is Cosmic Brains. And the reason why I have him ranked at the bottom of the list is because, in general, the Super Brains class is a really, you know, up-in-your-face kind of fighter. He has to punch really quickly, then use his kick to get out of there, or also get shot. Or he could snipe from far away, but that was taken away in the last major update where they wanted him to be more of a melee fighter, which I do agree with. And with Cosmic Brains, even though I am, I'm very aware, aware that they did negate his time to charge up to his final level, and that, like even though like it's shorter now, it's still that you still have to wait in front of the plants just sitting there awkwardly while they shoot you to get to the max power level unless you want to use your small punches which are like horrible and do 20 damage and uh, they are very far and few because you can't punch properly for a reason and I really like this beam before the the uh, sniper getaway thingy engagement thingy whatever I actually thought his beam was quite good like 10 damage I think from even far away but now they really are pushing for him to be a melee fighter, as I said. So the beam overheats really quickly and the damage was really nerfed badly. And as for the positives of, of Cosmic Brains, I actually think he looks pretty cool. He's one of my favorite looking Super Brains, but... No, just with all the bad things about him, I don't think he could get any higher on this list. So at number 6, we have Cosmic Brains. Moving on to number 5, we have Breakfast Brains. Now Breakfast Brains was actually not one of my favorite ones when he was first released. He only had 175 health, and the damage he did uh, was really bad compared to the sounds it made. It like He made a lot of threatening sounds which actually give away his position really easily. And you're expecting a lot of damage because he punched like 5 times a second, but the, the plants just didn't seem to go down. And his uh, breakfast butt, what do you call it, the, the waffle beam he had, didn't also didn't do that much damage and took such a long time to charge up. And whenever you ever like, walked over a crack when you were charging up your punch, it just died. So, originally, if they had kept that, he would have been at number 6 on my list. But, thankfully for him, he was bit buffed rather nicely. He got 200 health. And he also got a damage increase from his punches, which he really needed badly. And now, after the major uh, sniper nerf that all the Supermans got, I feel like, I'm not sure if it actually happens, but I feel like his waffle beam really charges up faster, because all the beams now overheat faster, so I feel like they wanted you to get a bit more damage with that, which is really nicely... Which is really nice when you want to, you know, get those last few hit points off of the enemy plants. But I actually like how he looks the most for positives, and I have actually used him a lot. He's not a bad character at all, but I just think that there are more better ones higher up on this list. So at number five, we have Breakfast Break. So at number 4, we actually have the base Super Brains uh, variant, the first one. Now, um, I don't mean to spoil anything higher up on this list, but I guess I have to. Super Brains has 3 punches and does 15, 25, and 45 damage, I believe, for his final one. And that's pretty good. And he would actually have been 3rd on my list, but... Number three, I guess, to spoil, is Party Brains. And until recently, Party Brains, like all the other party characters, were weaker variants of the original 
um, class of the original base variant, sorry. And th once they killed five people, they went to a super powerful mode in which they did a little bit more damage than their base variant, and they moved faster too. But Super Brains was far better than the other party variant, which was uh, party brains. But after the buff to the, all the party characters, the party characters are actually better in every single way. Because now Party Brains has the exact same 3 punch damage before he goes into the super crazy mode after 5 kills. And he also gets that extra damage and speed once he kills 5 people. So, uh, Super Brains, if you actually have Party Brains like I do, there's no real use to using the base uh, Super Brains class anymore. Of course, I still prefer Super Brains over Breakfast Brains and Cosmic Brains just because they, the, the punches feel a bit better and I seem to kill people faster. So that's all I have to say about the base Super Brain class number thing. So coming in at number three, not much of a surprise honestly, is Party Brains, the all around just flat out better version of Super Brains. There's actually not much to talk about since I already explained everything about Party Brains in the Super Brains time slot of the video. But, um, yeah, so he has a Super Saiyan kind of mode, which he does a lot more damage. I believe it's something like 1831 and, uh, 56, which is much better, but of course you have to kill five people. So, honestly, you, you're probably going to see more people playing the base Super Brains class variant guy in like turret takeover and uh, team vanquish modes because just because not many people not as many people have the party brains guy but a good place to use party brains is in uh, garden ops with a lot of AI and you can just rank up kills so fast there because you're gonna kill so many of them go into party mode and you can just kill everything and um, besides that, his beam, of course, oh yeah, I didn't go for the beam with the uh, base Super Brains guy. His beam, I believe, was also nerfed. At close range, it does more, and at long range, it does less. And it's the exact same damage with the Party Brains variant, of course. The beam is also increasing damage when the Party Brains uh, goes into his uh, what it, party mode. And it, of course, overheats just as quickly as all the other variants have their beams overheat. And that's all I have to say. Oh yeah, he also looks pretty cool too. But besides that, all I can say is that at number three, we have Party Brains. So at number two, we have Toxic Brains, the true legendary version of the Super Brains class, in my opinion. He actually has the least base damage of 10, 20, 30 in his punches, and I believe two damage or one damage in his beam, which is pathetic, but he does have a bit of toxic damage, but you might be thinking, why is he good then? Well, he's great because he has the best legendary meter in this case to fill. You fill his meter by punching which is a good thing and a bad thing, but I think it's mainly a good thing. You can just go in there, kill people, which is a bit harder, but if you get that, he becomes insanely powerful with 30 damage for his first punch, uh, 60 damage for his second punch, and 90 damage for his third punch when he's in his legendary toxic mode, as it calls it. And I think that this toxic brain's almost got the number one spot on the list, but just because you have to go into the legendary mode by punching, I think that there is still a better guy in the Super Brains class that you probably already know, if you know all the variants of the Super Brains class. I really liked him, and of course in Garden Ops mode and Boss mode for the uh, monthly uh, things like fighting these, um, the giant squash and stuff, he's really good there. and. But I think that there's still one guy better in the Super Brains class. 
just because for most of the time you play like turf takeover any multiplayer mode you're usually going to be in your weak 10 20 30 punch mode and the pathetic two damage b mode so at number two we have toxic brains and finally number one we have electro brains electro brains in my opinion is the best super brains variant in the entire class and this is because first of all he has five punches instead of three which the rest of them have he has of course the punches are weaker but they do uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 damage which I believe amounts to 75 damage total and his beam uh, was of course decreased like the rest of the super brains beams were but um, according to the developers in the last update they had increased his uh, splash damage from the electro shot thingies so we'd do more splash damage because they were believing he was struggling as a melee fighter which i do not believe at all but sure it's just more fun for me honestly but they also increased how fast his punches were executed so now you can do 75 damage more quickly and you know continue the next round of punching which kills your enemies even faster than before so that does 150 damage in two rounds that's enough to kill colonel corn a pea shooter, sunflower, and I believe some chompers, like the hot rod chomper and stuff. So, and the cactus too, and the rose. So that's a lot of them. And that's just in two rounds, which of course you can execute really quickly now. And I, I think that's just the best. Of course, uh, no one's as good as Toxic Brains when he's in his toxic mode. But I play a lot of multiplayer and not a lot of boss mode even though there actually is boss mode going on this week at the, at the time of this video. But um, yeah, that's about it. And number one, we have Electro Brain. So that is all the Super Brains variants ranked from worst to best in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider commenting down below your favorite uh, Super Brains variant. Also consider sharing this video with your friends and people who you think would get a kick out of this video. Also consider subscribing to the Boo channel because there will be new videos either tomorrow or the day after, I'm not sure. And I hope you guys just enjoyed the video in general and maybe even learned something new about the Super Brains class. But uh, that's about it for me guys. See you guys next time.